it's always difficult to uh, to understand to appreciate exactly in what consisted exactly Newton's creativity when he was a young mathematician in his uh, so-called Anni Mirabilis, 1664-1666. He did a lot of, of work in that period. And uh, you have the feeling that he was always on the right track. I will try to characterize the success uh, that Newton achieved uh, in three steps. The first step is the following. Newton understood that uh, most of the problems that were interesting for his contemporaries could be divided into two problems, two main problems. Given a plane curve, calculate the tangent to the curve. Given a plane curve, calculate the area of the surface bounded by the curve. He understood that the different problems that mathematicians were trying to solve could be classified into these two great uh, classes. The second step that Newton did is that he understood something that is not so easy to understand. That is, that these two problems are one in a way, one the inverse of the other. So this is quite strange if you think about it. I have a curve, I trace a tangent to a curve, I, cur I have a curve, I calculate the area under the curve. Why should these two problems be related one to the other? Indeed they are. And this is uh, the fundamental theorem of the calculus that was in the air, so to speak, because Barrow had given uh, uh, a very rigorous proof of this theorem, and others had approached it. But uh, Newton understood the importance of this theorem, and he understood that this theorem could be used uh, in a very powerful way in order to facilitate the squaring of curves. And why is the fundamental theorem so important for the squaring of curves, the calculation of the area bounded by curves? The reason is the following. Given a curve to calculate its tangent is not that difficult. Given a curve to calculate its area can be very difficult indeed for the standards of Newton's times. So, since the two problems are related one to the other, one can use the easy problem to solve the difficult problem, so to speak. The third uh, main characteristic of Newton's creativity is his ability as an algebraist, his uh, uh, prowess as an algebraist, he was able to build up an efficient algorithm that allowed him to calculate the tangent to any known curve at that period. 